Hello my friends and welcome to Fish Street. Today I want to talk to you guys about what it is that you may want to avoid buying at a big box store if you're in the aquarium hobby and what it is that's a really good deal that you should buy here. And especially if you're new, this might be helpful. But also if you're getting into planted tanks or if you're just, uh, you know, taking it to the next level, starting a fish room or something, uh, these are some little cheats and uh, information that I think will help out a lot. So I'm here because it's the 50% off sale. They do the dollar per gallon, same kind of thing uh, at Petco, but Petsco, Petco, PetSmart, those are really the stores we're talking about. So let's go inside and take a look at 10 of the things that we should buy here that I think are a good deal and 10 that maybe uh, you can get for less money at a better quality somewhere else. All right, the first thing that I would say you don't want to buy is one of these kits. Uh, they come with a light that is anemic, underpowered. You're gonna need to get a better light than the one it comes with if you wanna grow plants. And really the light's just there to see the fish. Uh, you can see they even have fake plants in the background art. Uh, also, it doesn't really come with all that much that's helpful. Even if it comes with the filter, uh, you can get better deals on all these things separate. And the stand and things, if you really want a stand that's designed for the tank, then I understand why you would come buy a stand. But wait till it's a deal on, you know, a dollar per gallon sale or 50% off. And that's what you do want to buy here is just the tank. So let's take a look at those. So this is what you would want to come get. 50% off all glass aquariums. Look at this, only $9.99 for a two and a half gallon tank. These at little mom and pop stores, are really expensive a lot of times and you know as much as I say support ma and pa stores whenever you can if you're on a budget I totally get it and uh, you know you can get a 10 gallon tank for $15 here today a 40 gallon breeder for uh, $59 so $60 uh, it's a really good deal these kits on the other hand not the greatest deal perhaps the biggest waste in the entire store would be aquarium water uh, for $14.99 is preconditioned water that means it's RO water probably or reverse osmosis water maybe it has some catapa almond leaves or some plants soaked into it but that's not even very dark water you can actually buy extracts that are much more concentrated and will treat a hundred gallons for ten or fifteen dollars but beyond that you can make it yourself with botanicals and leaves and crushed coral a bag of crushed coral for five to ten dollars you get a few pounds of it add that to your substrate or you can start with a buffering substrate something like fluval stratum ada amazonia um, contra soil whatever it may be and this water is just plain water you're paying for what two and two point three gallons fourteen ninety nine or thirteen dollars for one gallon of beta water when you can make that at home for literal pennies. Even if you have to go out and buy the water, you don't have a filter or low TDS tap water, you can go to the Sparkles or um, there's, there's, a lots, there's lots of different brands. If you go to different uh, grocery stores that will sell those big five gallon jugs of water to you and they will give you water that has zero TDS. You can then buy a remineralizer for 10 to $15 uh, online something like uh, salty shrimp for instance and then you add it to your water and you can uh, adjust the chemistry as you see fit or you can keep it at near zero TDS and neutral pH or acidic pH or alkaline pH depending on what it is you want out of your tank now another thing that I think is great at these stores usually is the price of airline tubing and things. If you can find it on Amazon or somewhere online that's less money, great. And rem reminder again, a lot of times either Petco or PetSmart will match. But you can wait for a 20% off coupon or a sale or a deal, then come in and use that and you can get these little... Uh, things whether it's you just need a new thermometer or it's you need a new heater but these 
they have a wide range and you can spend as much or as little as you feel comfortable doing and sometimes there's some really good sales like this one here which I might have to take them up on this probably can't beat that or $11 for a $31 heater so now I must say that Aquion from uh, other brands I've had trouble with as a heater but they do carry Fluval, they do carry Marine Land, um, and they carry, you know, uh, different different brands that are actually pretty high quality, respected brands elsewhere. Um, so just pick carefully and do your research before you come in so you know what you need and you don't overdo it or underdo it. Another thing I would not buy at a box store is their gravel. Their gravel, their sand, their substrate, it is overpriced. You slap the word aquarium on it and suddenly it becomes very expensive. So aragonite is a sand that has uh, crushed up shells and coral in it. And that has some properties that are a little unique to the hobby. But a lot of this is just polished rocks or pool filter sand, even from the same companies and rebagged. If you go get HTH brand sand, you can get a 50 pound bag of sand from somewhere like Ace or Home Depot or Lowe's. Uh, I find that uh, True Value and Ace actually have cheaper prices on the sand, but you can get that or blasting sand um, for a very good price for as low as uh, you know 12 to 15 dollars for a 50 pound bag sometimes I've seen. And a lot of times you have to special order it but it's so worth it and it's it's good quality sand or you could go out and get your own sand for free now this one's a bit of a surprise I think this one's a draw which is hardscape and that's both stone and sometimes they'll have interesting like Sirius stone here they're calling it galaxy glittering rock uh, and it'll be $34.99 for a few chunks enough to make probably a 10, 20 gallon tank look decent, maybe even a little bit more, especially with like the Dragonstone pack here. And the wood, I mean, the wood is only $20 for these giant chunks, which are very, very rich in tannins. And uh, the smaller pieces are $9.99 here. And yes, you may be able to get some wholesale, or if you know what you're doing, you can go out and harvest wood. But depending on where you live, depending on how comfortable you are doing that, there's actually some pretty good deals to be had uh, at stores like this, especially with the big chunky woods like Mopani and Malaysian driftwood like these. And also check the reptile section. So again, you can come over to the... Uh, reptile area a lot of times or the bird area and you can find things like choya wood big old chunks of it or jungle wood whatever that is uh, as well as mopani and hornwood and other woods just at different price points and different sizes than you will find in other sections now another thing that you never want to get here is these filter cartridges these are the biggest waste of money in the hobby in my opinion uh, a lot of people just get these and they say oh this is a three month supply uh, you just put new one in each month or whatever but when you do that you're throwing out all that filter media that you just colonized on there and even if you stagger it so you keep one of these in there if there's two and you throw one and then replace the other um, alternating months you're you're doing more work than you need to because you can just buy medias like these uh, like stones like ceramic like these sponges at the bottom and you can load up your filter that way in fact a lot of hang off the backs like fluvals come with it set up this way already you can see they already come with the sponge and then a finer polishing filter and then the filter media bag and then on top of that you can even put like a polishing cloth that will make it super fine or charcoal if you need to uh, remove things like medication but you shouldn't need to be removing medication very often uh, so charcoal is something you don't even need I usually throw that to the side right when I open any of these filters so want to remind you it's fine wait till they're on sale and go ahead and buy these filters any one that you prefer but 
don't buy the replacement cartridges. They're not needed. You can just buy a one-time deal of the media, the sponges, and filter floss. And then a pre-filter sponge is great as well. And then you don't need to deal with any of this. And you just save the two bags of carbon that came with the filter for when you truly need that. But overall, it's up to you. And if you're getting into other filters, like canister filters, that's when I think these stores are usually a pretty good deal. They usually have the best deals around when they go on sale. Another thing I would never get at a big box store are the feeder fish. They're 40 cents a piece or maybe 20 cents a piece, dollar a piece. It depends on the size, but they're not healthy. They're going to have all the illnesses of massive containers where they're held and shipped off to facilities all over. And nobody really cares about how they're doing in the long run. And so I think you're much better off going to a local lake or river and simply going in and catching things like minnows and feeding those to your fish. Now there's a chance that you could get sick or your fish rather could get sick from that. But regardless, uh, you know, it's less of a chance than the goldfish that are marinating in their own waste. Not to mention, they don't have good nutrient profiles and they've been mass fed food to bulk them up full of soy and other things like that rather than nutrient rich food that's going to be simultaneously good for the digestive system and health of your larger predatory fish that are eating them. Another thing that I would definitely get here are the medications. Um, now, there's places like Aquarium Co-op Online or um, sometimes places like Aquatic Art. And if you're really into fish and you buy your fish online from really good, reputable breeders, people like Greg Sage, Select Aquatics, Gary Lang, things like that, sometimes they'll even have things, methylene blue or various dewormers and things that they buy in bulk that they'll sell out in portions. Uh, that you can't get elsewhere. Now, things like this, antibiotics, erythromycin or uh, mericin, uh, things like fluvendazole, fembendazole, that stuff I would recommend getting at these stores if you don't find it for cheaper online. Sometimes, you know, aquarium co-op places like that will have these, but these are getting harder to find, these antibiotics. Petco doesn't even carry them anymore. So PetSmart is really the only place I can find them anymore. And it's going to get harder and harder as the laws are changing now. But I would also get the things like water conditioners and uh, water treatments here. Uh, whether that's equilibrium or, or stability or dechlorinators. They're usually a fairly good price here too. Now the next thing I would not buy at a store like this generally is the fish. So, granted, they have a pretty good selection at some stores. Other stores, it's a terrible selection. But here you can see that this fish is very undernourished, not doing so well. And these are brand new baby albino bristlenose placosmus. Uh, and very, uh, very skinny looking. I, who knows if they'll even make it. And... Likewise, you can see here a lot of the deformities that happen when you buy something like a balloon body fish. They have been so inbred that they just can't swim right often. Uh, and that's, that's true with goldfish, that's true with uh, live bears and guppies. It's just an unfortunate thing that happens. Likewise, a lot of these tanks share the same water supply. So a whole bay or a whole row or sometimes the whole store, it really depends on the place, will share the same water. And so if one tank is sick, they may medicate that tank and all the others, and that's the only way they have to deal with it, causing uh, issues with antibiotic-resistant bacteria and all sorts of other uh, illnesses. So I would avoid that, generally speaking. Here's a good example of why I wouldn't get neon tetras. They come in like this very frequently. Most have passed away, but they're gonna put out the ones that survive, and they may have the illness or the problems, ammonia burns, things like that, 
you definitely need to quarantine them if you're going to do that. An almost constant problem that I have is hearing people say, well, I got a light, it came with my tank, or I bought it at the store when I bought my tank. I bought something like this light, or <laughs> heaven forbids this light, um, or any of these lights in this first section here. And they say, you know what, my plants aren't growing. Well, this isn't a full spectrum light. This is just to barely see your fish. It has no real features either. It's going to be just your bare bones light to see some fish if you have fake plants and some gravel. If you want a light that is actually going to take care of your plants and give a full range of color, you're gonna to need to start working over here. And this is a new advent. Not all stores have this stuff, but I would say the Fluval products are great, even though you can get better priced uh, Fluval products sometimes other places. Again, I've uh, gone through Aquarium Co-op, but they do have their own brand of lighting now, so um, I don't know how long that relationship will continue, uh, that they'll be having these Fluval uh, 3.0 lights. But if you can find them at your local fish store and they're a comparable price or somewhere on Amazon or online, I totally understand because this is one of the biggest expenses in your aquarium, but it's also what is going to fuel your ecosystem. It's what's going to set the pace at how fast your plants can process nutrients, which also decides how big of a bio load and how many fish you can have, and all sorts of other uh, really crucial factors in your aquarium's ecosystem. So a good light, in my opinion, is worth its weight in gold. So, thank you so much for watching, and if you've made it to the end, you probably enjoyed the content, I would hope. So, liking, subscribing is much appreciated. Save your friends some money. Help new folks understand uh, what it is they should get at these stores and what they should avoid. And, you know, by liking, sharing, that helps get the message out. Give me your tips, too, down below. I'd love to hear what it is you st stay clear of versus what it is you like to buy at these stores versus what you'd buy online or at a Ma and Pa store or a specialty online store. And also, I have a bunch of links in the description of stores where I would buy fish or I would buy uh, food and other things like that uh, that I do support and that I think are ethically doing things the right way. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.